I'm back this week with Temperance from the Blood Moon Tarot deck. If you'd like to learn more about the deck, please visit me at bloodmoontarot.com or you can get a look behind the scenes and support me on Patreon. The music in this video is a collaboration with a local musician called Sleep Palace. It's really magical having this music be inspired by the art that I'm making, so please go give them some love and maybe they'll keep making music for me. Links are in the description below. So my keywords for temperance are synthesis, alchemy, and discipline. Fire and water are wild and dangerous, yet there are places in the world where these two untamed forces meld together gracefully. With time and the right conditions, these elements transform into fertile islands, beautiful crystals, and new life. Like these natural phenomena, we too can master ourselves, harnessing our raw emotions and transforming them with patience and skill into something unexpected and powerful. So I wanted to talk briefly about emotions and how we deal with them, and obviously how that relates to art for me and other sorts of creation. So if I was to define emotions, I would say that they're definitely not logical for me, but they are profoundly powerful. I feel them physically, and they transform the world around me if only through altering my perception. Um, they probably developed as evolutionary controls and defenses, and they retain that raw, primal energy. And, you know, what can you do with that when you just feel it so powerfully? My frustration with emotions is that um, I can't process them logically. It's not enough to ponder emotions, label them, and say, okay, I'm done with this. They have to be felt, expressed, and they have to travel through me completely in order for me to feel relief from them. If I try to hold it back, it hurts, it's heavy, it makes it difficult to focus, and it negatively affects other parts of my life. I've spent a lot of my life trying to hold back my feelings and maintain control of them. And I've done this partially because for a long time I didn't know the importance of expressing them. And also, it's incredibly vulnerable to express yourself, uh, especially with society generally finding expressive people to be um, somehow weaker or somehow not intelligent. Um, so trying to hold back those feelings like sorrow and anger, love and grief, it's like trying to hold back a river, getting back into nature. Um, analogies here. So if you hold it back, you're not going to stop um, the river. It's just going to spill over the banks and it will cause damage and be chaotic and probably unpredictable. So your emotions will come out they won't be stopped. But if you guide the river to rage down a specific path, it won't cause so much damage and over time it'll sort of ease up. Um, I think that controlling emotions isn't nearly as important as knowing how to work with them and knowing how to let them make their way through you. They must be expressed. It's like emotions have a will of their own and that is what they want. So, how you choose to express them is completely up to you. So, now instead of trying to process emotions logically, I've been learning when it's time to write or to paint or to play music or when to engage in physical activities like go for a run. Emotions are normal, their will to be expressed is normal, and learning to work with those raw forces is really important. Um, so, do you hide or control your feelings? And if so, why do you do it? How do you choose to express your feelings? 
Obviously, I make art. It's still vulnerable, though without being totally transparent, which makes it feel safer for me. Um, hopefully I can inspire some of you to make your own art and music. So thanks again for watching the video, and I'll see you next week with a short little video. Bye.